Morning. Uh, winter seems to have come back today, the day after I have the new software fitted on the Ionic. Um, we're charged to 100%. We're heading down to Coventry. Um, we've got two stops down there. And basically my range at 100% is 125 miles. Uh, with the climate off, it would be 130. Um, but as usual, my principle is keep warm, keep the battery warm. Um, basically, I'm gonna go with heat on. Um, I'm set to 21 degrees and on auto, uh, but the auto demist system, ADS, is off. Um, if you want to know how to turn the ADS system off so that you're not burning through your energy um, on um, mornings where it's a little damp and uh, the car thinks you're steaming up all the time, uh, please have a look at my channel, please subscribe. Uh, you will find a link there to a video um, about ADS and how to turn it off. Okay. So this is the way the new system comes in use. Absolutely horrible winter day today. Uh, only getting 4.3 miles per kilowatt down from Yorkshire to here. And um, see the charger I've got to, uh, Nissan Leaf is on it. This charger is normally vacant. Um, so what do you do? What do you do? So let's look at the EV button, nearby stations telling me to go back towards trial services, which that's not happening. Um, let's look at the live destinations. We've got a polar commercial with a green dot. That means that it's got a empty connector um, and that is just there. So we're gonna set that as a destination. Less than a mile away and off we go. So there's something very unusual about this charger. Um, show you in a moment let's just make sure the safety check goes okay yep there we go and we're charging so what's unusual it's a polar charger yeah polar polar uh, no look it's a low power charger uh, okay bit charge master need to uh, not have um, dyslexic people do their uh, they're uh, sticking on of stickers. Um, absolutely filthy Hyundai Ionic. Uh, amazing car. The software update, I can't tell you whether it's actually increased capabilities or range. I know that the traffic conditions and the weather is absolutely atrocious. And as a result of that, I'm surprised I've even got as much as 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, because basically it is, well, it's awful. There's lots of standing water on the M1. Um, speeds, uh, there's no speed restrictions in parts of it, but basically, uh, look at the muck on this. Uh, basically, a 50 mile an hour is too quick for the tires on, on most cars, certainly on an Ionic, uh, because they're narrow and uh, eco style. So yeah, right, this is one of the charging points here, but, uh, you do actually have to um, clock in your registration number. So I'm just gonna go do that. And we're here. So was the charger, charging point correct? Is it free? And by free, I do mean available, not free of charge, sadly. And lo and behold, here we are at the Holiday in Nottingham, and this charger is available. Yay! Blech. Weather not good. Let's clean that camera off a little bit. Yeah, um, so I've got a code for the barrier. Um, you have to also register on parking eye as well for here. Um, well, one thing I'm just reflecting on is do you know what? Yeah, I could have looked at the Polar app and I could easily have um, turned around and seen that this charger 
possibly was free on that, but it was just so much quicker looking on the navigation and the map. Um, so actually, yeah, thumbs up for uh, the, the, the new map update for the Ionic because otherwise I'd have been basically just queuing behind that Nissan Leaf, uh, which, eh, nice car, but I need to get me charged. I need to get to work. Okay, so another feature of the, um, the, the, the update for our good old Ionic is press nav. Um, as a point of interest, let's say I need somewhere to park up, okay? So let's go near city centre. So we're going to go for the local one, which is uh, Nottingham. So yeah, Nottingham. Uh, and what we're looking for is we're looking for parking. Okay, and we're going to go all. And you'll notice now the live icon has appeared in the top right hand corner, just next to the back button. Okay, so um, Okay, we're just getting an update on the traffic data. Here we go, so live. Let's see what we've got uh, on the display when it shows live. Okay, so what you can see here is we've got uh, different car parks and it actually tells you not just the fact that they've got spaces here, um, if it's got data, but it's also showing you, look, the amount it costs per hour. So Sheriff's Lodge, three pounds 70, um, what 3.702 pound an hour? So let's have a, a closer look at that one. Yeah, so oh, it's actually showing two pound an hour. I'm not quite sure what the 3.70 stands for. Uh, let's go for information, see if it tells me any different. Okay, so two hours is three pounds 70, right? I see. Okay, and four hours is six pounds. So actually, shouldn't that be one pound 50? Um, six hours, ten pound. Uh, 8 hours 12 etc payment by cash or by card that is very very useful because uh, how many times do you get to a parking area and not actually have any cash on you so superb well done um, Tom Tom and uh, Highland I Ionic EV for doing this update tells you the opening hours as well that is fantastic I love that. Um, with having different business meetings in different places, um, I find that very, very useful. Um, so let's just run through that again. Um, let's go back to the map. So you want nav, you want your point of interest. Um, let's go for one near the current position and let's go for parking. Let's go for all. Okay, and here we've got different car parks. Let's look at live though. And here we go. Again, showing you different car parks and it is showing you the rates. Let's pick one, let's pick Victoria Street. Okay, it's showing zero pound per hour. Is it really zero pound per hour? Let's go back. Victoria Street again. There we go. So one hour seems as if it's free, two hours is a pound, three hours one pound fifty. Um, and this one isn't telling you whether it's card or cash, doesn't seem to have that data. Uh, parking slot info looks like it doesn't have any info at the moment because it's not coloured. Um, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, other thing I've noticed this morning is with the sat nav, let's do the um, destination here so I'm gonna get pop in for my my route from here got a fast route got 46.2 miles lovely starting route guidance okay so here we can see we've got symbols for roadworks just there and also we're showing live here we've got plus three minutes so it's gonna have three minutes to our journey those of you that are familiar with the Ionic will know that it will suggest alternative routes almost annoyingly at the drop of a hat if you've got that option turned on. Um, what I'm finding since the update is it's not doing that. It's just informing me rather than saying here's an alternative, which I much prefer. 
so it's showing the roadworks. Um, it's showing an amber delay there for one minute. Um, let's have a look there. Traffic congestion, you can show that on the map. And yeah, of course, you can recalculate or you can go uh, back to the previous alert, but you can also go to the next one. Again, looking at it on the map. So Coventry Eastern Bypass, two minute delay there, queues of traffic. Information, love it, brilliant. Okay, so thank you Iondo for making my journey a bit easier today, finding a charger a bit easier today, and um, doing this update with TomTom. Tom. Yeah, very impressed.